In the midst of the chaos and brutality of World War I, a new menace emerged from the shadows, the sniper. Armed with scoped rifles, these expert marksmen lurked in the shadows, striking fear into the hearts of soldiers on both sides of the conflict. The introduction of scoped rifles revolutionized warfare, allowing snipers to pick off targets with deadly accuracy from long distances. Initially, it was the German Imperial Army who recognized the potential of scoped rifles. Their success with these weapons prompted the British and French to follow suit. As the war raged on, snipers became a constant threat to soldiers in the trenches. Their ability to fire from concealed positions made them virtually invisible to their targets. To counter this danger, soldiers had to constantly be on guard, minimizing their exposure to enemy fire. In their efforts to deceive enemy snipers, soldiers devised ingenious decoys, one of the most popular being paper mache heads. These decoy heads were crafted with painstaking attention to detail, with sculptors striving for realism to fool enemy snipers. Once deployed, these decoys served as bait, enticing enemy snipers to reveal their positions. When a decoy head was hit, soldiers used triangulation methods or periscopes to pinpoint the sniper's location. Once the sniper's position was identified, it was swiftly targeted by artillery or counter snipers, neutralizing the threat. The use of decoy heads was just one of many tactics employed by soldiers to combat the deadly threat of snipers in the trenches of World War I. It was a testament to the ingenuity and bravery of those who fought in one of the most harrowing conflicts in history. And though the war may be over, the memory of those who fought and died in the trenches will never be forgotten.